Okay, everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and welcome back to our brief series of tutorials on card. And in this short video, I'm just going to reverse engineer the process of including an opt-in uh, above the fold hero form for building your list or generating a list of subscribers or giving away a free sample or uh, you know, even selling your services like we're doing by dint of redirecting people to our community post sign up. So our our course community post sign up. So uh, here is the above the fold opt in form. As you can see, this is really really easy to accomplish. Even if you're a dummy like myself, I am not a coder. I would struggle to do this with HTML in a similar way. So let me try to just input a random email address here. I'll input my own plus, let's say, 87 at gmail.com. This may actually tell me this has been subscribed already. And no, it hasn't. All right, so that worked. So I subscribed to my own list with a variation of my email address, and then I redirected the user to, in this case, me, to our um, our storefront, right, or our, our main, you know, um, e-commerce site on the Mindful Marketplace platform. All right, so let's go back now and let's see how this is done. So you can do this too. All right, so now I'm in the back end of the exact same uh, card. Card is really, truly an amazing tool for those of you who want to build a brand, a business, a digital consultancy, a marketing uh, a company or, or a design studio without needing to know anything. I mean, you're just basically borrowing their wizardry and then using it as your own to offer your services to clients and your community. All right, so this is, the, again, the editor. You know, you can see up here, this is all the back end, and this is where you'd make all the edits to the hero uh, elements above the fold, change the picture, change the buy now link. But really what we're most interested in is this for right now, because this is where all of the sign up magic is generated. So you want to click on this. It's going to bring up this uh side, whatever you want to call it, panel. And actually, I want this. There you go. Okay. So you have to be very granular about that. So I clicked on the actual form. And you can see here is the form. Type sign up via review. This is the, uh, the newsletter service that we're using. API key. That's my API key for review. And then on completion, I wish this would actually let me scroll down. It's actually scrolling the page instead, which is a pain in the ass. I need more coffee for this, I think. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. There it is, I am such a dummy. All right, I definitely need more coffee. Okay, and then on completion, redirect to a URL and this is what you where you can see it just redirected to our partners.mindfulmarketplace.com community, right? But let's say you wanted this to be something different. You want to display a message. So let's say you want to say All right, so now you have that message instead, and you save it here. You publish it here, and let's view the site. And now instead of redirecting post sign up, it'll say, hey, thanks so much for joining us. All right, so let's add another Fugazi email of my own, plus last time I tried 87, let's call it 83. I mean, I test so many of these emails that, oh, there you go. Hey, thanks so much for joining us. Okay, all right, so now this email that I just inputted has been added to our review newsletter 
service, right? So I'm not going to show you that piece. I've done other videos on that, but that's now been done. Now, let's go back into the back end because I know most of you are not going to be using review, so that might feel like a little confusing. So let's click on this again. And of course, I'm going to make the same scroll mistake a second time because I'm an idiot. This time I fixed it a little, I noticed it a little bit more expeditiously. All right, so here's the form. Sign up. You can have contact, or you can have a, so you can use a contact form. Sign up, or you, you can use a custom action here for, for, for this uh, form area. But let's instead, let's leave it sign up, and let's see what other options we have. So if you don't use review, which I'm sure 98% of you won't be, there's MailChimp. There's ConvertKit, there's MailerLite, there's GetResponse, there's Email Octopus, SendinBlue, SendFox, Sendy, etc. All right, this may be actually all of them. Let's see if there's any more. There's not. So but this, these are a pretty good roundup of the usual suspects in the email marketing universe. ConvertKit's obviously very popular. Uh, MailChimp's obviously very popular. MailerLite. You know, all of these have a firm footing and foundation in the email marketing uh, you know kind of ecosystem so you'll find something that you can use that integrates directly with card all right so I'm gonna leave this as review because I while I use MailChimp review is really what I want to use for uh, our card communities okay so that's pretty much it right I mean that's it. That really is all you need to know to start building either these style pages for yourself or, as I know many of you are trying to do, you can do this for your clients. Think about how many people that you may be interested in working with or maybe interested in working with you would benefit from having a newsletter for their brand, for their blog, for their business, for their book launch, for their content, uh, their courses, their community. Etc. I'm using a card for an example for one of the circle communities that we're building. The circle's on a subdomain and the card is the landing page. And it's a very effective way of getting people 